Hi there. So today I will try to share with you a few tips that uh, I've learned when trying to do s uh, some pixel art for Habitat PG. So um, um, I, I don't have any sense of design, so I like to uh, start off from an example. So let's try to do a uh, boss. So uh, I go to Google Image and I will search for um, monster. Uh, go to image. Okay. At this point, uh, it's a good idea to go to advanced search and filter by images that we can use, share, or modify. And then we want some clip art uh, image and maybe full color image. Okay, what do we have? Uh, maybe let's go with this one. View image. Now we can download it. And we can open GIMP and open the image in GIMP. Open download stegosaurus. Cool. Uh, okay. First thing to do is to scale the image uh, to 216 by 117. So let's do uh, image scale image 216. Up. Okay. Uh, at this point, uh, so we want to zoom this one, so we can see the image, and to see a real e um, example uh, how it looks like, we can make a new view and remove all those rulers, scroll bar, statue bar, and menu bar, and then uh, we can move this up on that side. So we will, uh, even if we zoom a lot, you can see what uh, does it looks like in there. Okay. Um, then we want to add a grid uh, because we work with pixel of uh, three by three pixel. So configure grid three by three and uh, intersection. And then we need to show the grid, and now we can see all the pixel. Uh, then we want to remove the background so let's go uh, to layer transparency uh, add alpha channel and then we will uh, select by color the white and uh, this gray. Uh, I do shift to select and uh, several colors and then uh, control X to remove this and that's good. So what can we do now? Um, maybe there are too many colors. So if I try to do a blur pixelize of 3x3, three three, and it will look too a bit too messy, difficult to see the uh, borders. So let's cancel this and maybe play with color um, pasteurize okay if you try to add more colors this one looks good so let's try to go with uh, five levels of color okay then we can do uh, maybe some contrast uh, how do we do contrast color brightness, contrast, and let's move this, uh, let's become a bit yellow, but I guess it's still okay, up, and then, um, let's try to pixelize again, blue, pixelize, 3x3, three three. okay. Okay, so you can see a bit more the shape uh, of the dinosaur already. Uh, so we can see that there are some transparent pixels uh, all around the dinosaur. So maybe we can uh, use a background color black and we will do... Um, how do I do this? 
layer transparency semi flatten and all the uh, transparent pixel will uh, go back to black so there was some crap here so, um, so we can use uh, the eraser tool set to 3 as well oh, oops. 1 3 and you can move this up That's part of the gray I didn't select when I wanted to remove all the white and the gray. Okay, and no more trailing. This one I don't care. Um, and now we can try to add a full border. Um, it's good to put a black border all around the, the animal. So, how do we do that? Let's select alpha. And then uh, we can select invert to, s to get the animal shape. And we can do a grow by 3 pixels, which will create a border. And if I select the bucket tool and I want to uh, fill the alpha in black, it should be done like this. Then um, you can take the pencil tool to 3 pixel as well and you can um, use the eraser tool as well to remove all those um, that pixel that you don't need here it's a pencil etc so uh, it needs now more uh, manual work but we already got a nice shape and, and that's a very good start <coughs> to get our monster. Thank you.